I'm happy to say that we've got three more dogs uh, serving the community tonight. Uh, police dogs Ben, Buster and Argus have graduated after uh, undertaking an intense three-month uh, training course where they were trained in um, exercises such as uh, tracking and area searching in, in the hunt for human odour, uh, both from a ground-born scent and uh, airborne scent point of view. They've also been trained to uh, locate articles that have been held by people with human odour on it and obviously our normal obedience uh, situations. Sounds like a pretty intense training course. Very intense uh, and uh, all dogs have excelled uh, and their training really starts today because uh, now they're out in, the, uh, out in the operational field tonight or tomorrow, um, that's when the true work starts for them. Could you talk a little bit about, I guess, uh, the significance of police dogs to the force? Look, we are uh, obviously serve uh, the community and SAPOL as a whole. Uh, we cover the state um, and uh, we uh, respond to various taskings from one point of the city to the next. Uh, and, uh, oh God, that got me, I don't know. About that. So I guess, um, you know, in terms of what kind of jobs they do, just how much do they help uh, police officers out in their day-to-day -day work? Yeah, obviously, um, unlike human beings uh, that assume, uh, dogs don't assume, so we will follow the odour, we'll follow the dog, we'll have a lot of faith in the dog to uh, follow the odour from point A to point B, and uh, I guess they, uh, they used to locate offenders that wouldn't be found by uh, humans. So these three particular jobs, what will, what's next for them? Well, they will be uh, operational. Uh, they are police officers uh, first hand, first of all. Uh, they had the added extra of having a police dog with them. So they will be responsive to uh, two taskings over the radio, backing up patrols uh, in a proactive and a reactive manner. Okay, and is there some sort of community involvement with sort of how they're brought up? Do they stay with a family or something like that? Yes, one of our dogs, uh, police dog Argus, was part of our puppy uh, program. Uh, he was uh, trained or assisted in his training by uh, a member of the public uh, who were grateful with their time and worked closely with one of the handlers to develop uh, that particular dog. Um, and quite frankly, uh, when he started the course, he was that far ahead of uh, what would have been a normal dog uh, that uh, he has excelled throughout that course and uh, promises to be a very effective uh, police dog. Do you get lots of people putting their hands up for that job? It's a very, very popular job and obviously not a job that comes up very often because it is one of those jobs we have the best job in anywhere world really. If we, uh, we play hide and seek and we use a dog to do it. What kind of bond does the dogs develop with the handlers? The dogs have a very close bond with uh, their handlers. The dogs actually live with all of the handlers so that increases the bond with that. They are part of the family. Um, and most uh, we do say that we see more of our dogs than we do see our families because we're at work with them, we're at home with them, they come on holidays with us. So that bond is very important to, 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 um, to protect us in some volatile situations we might find ourselves in. And also where the officers are on call after hours should a job uh, or a tasking um, uh, come up and uh, obviously that reduces the, uh, the um, attendance time for police. And how do they usually get along once you bring them all together after their training? They are uh, full of testosterone and uh, they are still dogs so they do get, tend to get quite excited when they see the other dogs around so it's important that obviously all handlers are aware of their surroundings at all times. How long can we expect these three to be on the beat for? Uh, it, obviously, like humans, some dogs will uh, finish earlier than uh, others, but uh, generally anywhere between seven to eight years of age. So these dogs now are just on 12 months of age, so we should probably see a good si at least six years from them as an operational police dog. They do live a very active life, um, and uh, obviously that will determine how they, uh, how they finish up. And do they noticeably get uh, better at their job? Very much so. It, it is very much like any skill that you learn. You've got to keep training. These handlers uh, don't finish training now. They will continue training on a regular basis throughout the dog's career, regardless of how old the dog is, uh, to ensure that that dog maintains its, uh, its uh, uh, high level.